Hello friends, welcome to Prismatics Online class. In our today's class, we are going to solve questions on the board. The question says, use the mathematical induction to prove that for every positive integer, for every positive integer, use mathematical induction to prove, to prove that for every positive integer n, that 5 raised to the power n minus 1 is divisible by 4. Solution. Now, let us look forward to uh, the first case, case 1 known as what? Base step. Okay. Base what? Step. Now, that is, let us test. Test for P of what? 1. That is, N equals to what? 1. From this place, we have 5 raised to power N minus 1. Is it divisible by what? 4. Now, when N equals to 1, when N equals to 1, we have 5 raised to power 1 minus what? 1. Is it divisible by 4? This will give us what? 5 minus what? 1 all over what? 4. Is it 4 over 4? Is it divisible? Yes. Which is what? 1. That is it. So, hence, P of what? Hence, P of what? 1 is true. P of 1 is what? True. Okay. Now, case 2. Case 2 is what we call inductive, uh, inductive step. Step in this inductive step, we are going to look at what let us test test for p of what k that is when n equals to what k from the equation. Now we have five raised to the power k anywhere we see k, anywhere we see n, we call it what k minus one. Is it divisible? Is it divisible by what? Uh, 4. Let's just say 4t. Okay. So that when you do this, it will be now t is equal to what? 5 raised to the power k minus 1 divided by what? 4. Now, okay. Now let's make 5k the subject of the formula. We have 5k is equal to 4t plus what? 1. Call it equation 1 or equation star. Okay. Now, hence, P of what? K is true. Okay. Now, let's look at uh, step, step three. And step three is what we call inductive hypothesis. Okay. That is step three. Inductive hypothesis. Okay. What do we have here? Now we say, let us test, test for P of what? K plus 1. We are going to test for P of K plus 1. That is, that is N equals to K plus 1. From this place, from the equation, we have that 5 raised to power. Anywhere you see N, call it K, K plus 1 minus 1. Is it divisible by, have it as what, 4, uh, H. Now, let's go. Now, by a lot of indices, we can have this in as 5 raised to power K dot 5 raised to power 1 minus 1. Is it divisible by 4? Okay. Now, let's go. Okay, from this place, I can have this in as 5 into what? 5 raised to power k. 5 raised to power k. Close it. Minus 1. Is it divisible by 4? Okay. Now, from equation 2, we have the 5 raised to power k is equal to what? That is, when 5 raised to power k is equal to 4t plus 1. We substitute it here. We now have 5 into what? 
four t t plus what one close it minus one is it divisible by four now what do we have this time this will give us 20 t and this will give us what um will give us what um five plus five minus one is it divisible by four okay having done that we have 20 t plus four is it divisible by what four now that is thin okay okay finally what do we have finally we have that 20 20 t plus four is it divisible by what four there is something they have in common four something here we can can we just see uh can we just see four into bracket what we four times what will give us four times what will give us what 25 so we have it as what 5 t plus four times what will give us what one have it this is equal to what four each finally you can answer let what you can answer let h equal to 5t plus 1, where h, comma, t is an element of what? Positive integer, n. Positive integer. And finally, what do we have? 4, replace this with h, which is h, is equal to what? 4h. Hence, P of k plus 1 is 2. Therefore, you can have that P of 1, comma, P of k, comma, and P of k plus 1 are 2 for, for all positive integer m. That is still, and that is how to do it. Thanks and God bless you. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Prismatis Online Class. Follow me on Facebook, the same platform, Prismatis Online Class. Please like, share, and comment. Bye.